Hi there, students. Heavy-handed. Heavy-handed, an adjective. Okay, if, if you describe somebody as being heavy-handed, they you're saying that they're using too much force in dealing with a problem. So, I recently saw that there was um, a driver in Paris who was stopped by the police. Um, and then they shot him. And this seems to be a case of very heavy-handed policing. Yeah, he's, going, he's using too much force when dealing with something. Um, protesters are always accusing the police of using heavy-handed tactics. Um, heavy-handed policing normally results in a heavy-handed uh, reaction from uh, people in society yeah so if something's heavy-handed it's done in an unnecessarily forceful way it doesn't consider um, the feelings or the position of other people um, so there were lots of complaints about heavy-handed uh, policing or heavy-handed methods um, as an adverb, heavy-handedly. The teacher dealt with the situation very heavy-handedly and the whole class ended up in detention. Yeah, where it might have been better to just single single out one or two uh, ringleaders. Yeah, um, so the teacher was known for his heavy-handedness. That means that uh, th there were always really harsh or heavy punishments uh, when uh, you got when you got caught doing something. So heavy-handed, uh, very direct, very blunt. I think you can also use heavy-handed to talk about uh, verbally. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? What do you think of my lovely new picture, Dad? It's bloody awful. No, you can't say that to a kid. That's very heavy-handed. That's too direct. It's tactless. Yeah? So you need to be able to find a way of teaching kids without being heavy-handed. Well, it's a very interesting picture. Maybe next time you could do this or do this. Um, and I think a heavy-handed... Uh, heavy-handed parenting is not good for children. So heavy-handed, you you can uh, use it to to talk about not only physically but how um, the words somebody uses. Yeah, um, because I think the way you criticise something or the way you try to teach somebody is very important. If you're very heavy-handed, it's not good for their own self-esteem. Um, let's see, as a teacher, as a language teacher, when people make mistakes, um, it's very important to, to select the mistakes that you need to be corrected and others which are maybe more advanced than their level to forget about and like that you're not too heavy-handed uh, teaching people um, so uh, marking or teaching heavy-handedly is not the is not the most productive method or well, certainly in my um, from my point of view. I think heavy-handed, something that lacks subtlety, that lacks nuance. Um, so the, hmm, the, the, use, the use of the col of colour in this painting is very heavy-handed. It's not subtle, it just is awkward, it's not, not, not very, very um, elegant, it's rather clumsy, it's unsubtle, yeah? Um, so try to be a little bit more subtle. S 
you could call somebody heavy-handed when they're very overbearing. They're trying to coerce people into doing things. Yeah, Some where they are unnecessarily forceful, unnecessarily harsh or insulting, oppressive, if you like. So over strict, draconian, over over harsh, using a higher degree of forcefulness than necessary. Um, if you're very bossy, you could be accused of being heavy-handed. Rather than suggesting things to people, you're ordering them to do them, and that's normally the way they when they say no. Something that's heavy-handed, it doesn't lack nuance. It doesn't have nuance. It's very ham-fisted, very clumsy and awkward. It's maladroit and not very well, very well done. Um, or maybe. Uh, excessive, over the top. Yeah, you do. You just too much is uh, very heavy-handed. Heavy-handedness. Okay, so it's not good to be heavy-handed, clumsy, graceless. Um, uh, you need to be very tactful and very careful when explaining this matter. Not heavy-handed. Um, you, you, you want to be very subtle about it. You don't want to take extreme action. Yeah, you want to think about other people. You want to be very careful, very nuanced, very subtle. So, formality, heavy-handed. Hmm. I think I'm going to give this a 5.5 in formality. Use anywhere, but it is a touch on the more formal side. And then the idea, heavy, your hand is heavy. You're not light-fingered and very subtle. You're very heavy-handed, like your hand weighs 50 kilos or something. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Heavy-handed.